Hi there, welcome back. So today what we are going to say is how we can calculate the percentage difference between one and the rest of the other categories of the same thing. So for example, here what I want is for the July month, I want the percentage difference between July and rest of all the months. You can see this is a normal column chart wherein what I want is I want the percentage difference between the sales which has been done in the months of July with all the other months. Okay, so here the July month will be constant while comparing with all the other months. So how I can calculate it by using quick measures in Power BI? We are going to see this in this video. So uh, first of all, when we are using this feature, you need to uh, make sure that you are uh, ha having the correct, proper visual which are you waiting for it. And also uh, keep in mind that the values which you are added are in correct state, uh, places. Okay. So here what I will do now. I just want to create a kick method. Uh, so I just have to go to the wire. Just click on the down arrow. Go to this new quick measure. So this will open a new scene for quick measure. So watch is just this has been integrated with the co-pilot features and this makes the calculations very simple. Whatever calculation which you need to make in Power BI can now be in uh, developed with uh, the help of the quick method. So in just like the AI feature which has been in integrated here, which we will be using now. So here. They are having the options, average per category, variance per category, filters, difference from filtered value, percentage difference from filtered value. So we are going to select this. And here it is asking what should be the base value. The base value will be the sum of the sales, the sales value. And for blank, it is asking us to select one from these two categories, including blanks and the output, or it's read as null. This has zero in the calculation. So I will keep it as default. So it blanks in the output. And for filtering, what I will do is I will select the July month. Okay. So what I want, I want comparison based on the July month. So that's why I'm selecting July over here. I will click on add. And what it will do is it will start creating a measure. So you can see here, this is the measure which has been created. And I would say for a beginner person, it would be a bit difficult to understand this method. But I would recommend you to strongly go and understand these kind of measures because this will help you in the long run if you are uh, learning Power BI. So, and having a proper understanding of how this measure is working will be very good for you. Okay. So you can see as this measure has been created here. And also, the new column has been added here at the side, as we can as it can be seen here. And also here you can see this new measure which is created. So what I will do is I will remove this sum of stales from y-axis, and now we can only see the bars for the different percentage difference. Okay, and here you can see that before July month, except May, all the months are having difference in negative means the difference was very less as compared to the sales which was made in the month of July. For example, in January it was 1.74% less, in Feb it was 18%, in March 16, at 16. And likewise, when we are moving uh, away from the July month through August, September, October, November, and December, we can see a rise in the sales as compared to July. So she can say that this is a good indication as time is passing by the sales are increasing monthly. So this is the percentage difference which you have calculated using this quick measure feature in Power BI. What it has done, it has uh, created the DAX by itself. So we don't have to uh, create such complex DAX when we are uh, using the Power BI and you can also use some other different measures in Power BI uh, by using this quick measure feature which uh, would be very complex DAXs and it will uh, quickly initiate those DAXs in Power BI. 
But I would also recommend that do not depend completely on this quick measure feature as it is it has been integrated with Copilot. I would recommend you to also understand the basics of these taxes which are created by using quick measure. So you will also uh, start getting familiar with DAX and how it works if you are in a beginner stage of learning power. Okay, so I hope you have understood how we can calculate the percentage difference between one and the other categories of the same. Thank you very much for watching.